In the heart of the Catholic Diocese School of Nursing in Tabaka is a renowned nursing training center. Started 20 years ago and run by the Chameleon Fathers, the institution has killed the heights in training in nursing. The mission of the school is to produce competent nurses who will be able to provide quality services, quality care to our sick brothers and sisters. Here the trainers diligently ensure that students excel in their nursing career and become marketable in the nursing field. This nursing school is located in the same premises with Tabaka Mission Hospital, a vibrant hospital in the region. The students do the theoretical and enough practical lessons since Tabaka Mission Hospital is a major entity for their practical experience. We are being taught in, in, in the school, in, in the nursing school, and we do our clinical areas in the same point. And like other institutions where you have to go out and look for somewhere to do your clinical experience. We learn more about the basic anatomy of the human being, the 11 systems in the introductory block, and from block one up to block five, we learn more about the disorders of the human body. Nitu ambacho neza sema kwamba ni sehemu ya kila mtu kuwepo. Yeyote yule ambaye ana ana ile ari ya kuweza kuwa muuguzi katika jamii kwa muda wa kesho au kuwasaidia wale wagonjwa. We have had candidates from other countries as well joining St. Camilla School of Nursing. We have done very well. Our performance has been excellent and we have been having more or less a hundred percent passes in the national examination. Because since I came in this school, I have so many things that I've learned. I'm happy because of the library. The library is well equipped. I'm happy because of the computer lab, which is well equipped. And we go with the current technology in that there are so many things that we are doing in nursing that go in line with technology at the moment. The students are molded holistically. They attend masses every morning and get involved in groups that nourish them spiritually, like YCS and CU clubs. We have appointed one of our fathers as a chaplain of the school, who is always there for them. If they have a, a need, they have difficulties, if the office is open, they go to him, he does counseling, uh, and mostly listening to them. In addition, the trainees engage in sporting activities, making them fit both physically and psychologically. They play football, they play volleyball, netball, and others they participate. The alumni of this great institution now serve in different capacities as nurses in major hospitals and the health sector at large, both in the country and abroad. Choose Nursing, choose St. Camilla's School of Nursing for quality and reliable training. I would like to appeal and encourage those who have got uh, boys and girls who have met the required entry uh, qualifications to apply to St. Camilla School of Nursing Tabaka Mission Hospital for the training to become nurses. For booking and inquiries, call us on 0705-832-406 or Tabaka Mission Hospital on 0721. 361-953. Email us on tabaka at swiftkenya.com. St. Camilla's School of Nursing in Tabaka Kisi is an institution of choice in the nursing field. Medical Appeal The Organizing Committee and Scholar Wanjiku's Family 
wish to invite you to a fundraising towards settling the pending hospital bill and facilitation of the ongoing bone marrow transplant treatment of Mark Wamote, a 12-year-old, a pupil in Kalimoni Primary School, and an altar boy in St. Teresa Catholic Church, Juja. The total amount was 6 million shillings, and so far, 3.5 million shillings has been raised and paid. We need your help in raising the balance of 2.5 million shillings. The fundraising will be on 10th July 2021 at Maria Polis Center on Kenyatta Road from 1 p.m. You may channel your donation on M-Pesa pay bill number 8014779, account name Mark Wamote, or M-Pesa number 0724 919 or call us on 0715-877-632. Any donation will be appreciated. Mark Wamote, get well soon. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa Mark chapter 8 verse 21 Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 to 45 We have a short story about Doreen and Barney. I'm going to follow Jesus so, so that I can spend with him time. How about you? Tune in every day at 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Only on Capuchin TV. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go. Even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa For a peaceful learning environment, coupled with sufficient learning facilities, choose St. Veronica Giuliani School, located in Kivioko, Machakos County. It is a homely institution offering quality holistic elementary education to youngsters with special emphasis on academic performance and character formation. Vacancies are available from PP1 to Class 7 including boarding section which begins from grade 3. For more information about our school and admission procedures, contact us on 0713-271-670 St. Veronica Giuliani Mixed Day and Boarding Primary School. We transform the society. My brothers and sisters, we are given this opportunity by the Mother Church to celebrate the Apostles Peter and Paul, friends of Christ, preachers of the Gospel, and spreaders of faith. We are called to learn from them, to also learn each day to be close friends 
of Christ. And so with this joy, calling upon the invocation, the, the intercessions of this great man, we also we begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are taking away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on the solemnity of the Apostles Peter and Paul, Give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginning of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Herod the king laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the days of unleavened bread. And when he had seized him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out to the people. So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. The very night when Herod was about to bring him out, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains. And centuries, centuries before the door were guarding the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. And he struck Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. And the angel said to him, Dress yourself and put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. And he went out and followed him. 
He did not know that what was done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they had passed the first and second guard, they came to the iron gate leading into the city. It opened to them of its own accord, and they went out and passed on through one street, and immediately the angel left him. And Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. From all my terrors the Lord set me free. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. All my terrors the Lord set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called the Lord had and rescued him from all his distress. From all my terrors the Lord set me free. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. In all my terrors the Lord set me free. The second reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I'm, I'm already on the point of being sacrificed. The time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength to proclaim the word fully, that all the Gentiles might hear it. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth, the Lord will rescue me from every evil and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, Amen. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of heads shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah, 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 Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord is with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, 
who do men say that the Son of Man is? And they said, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. For our salvation, the gospel of the Lord. Praise My dear brothers, the apostles teach us that when we are close to Christ, when we build our friendship with Christ, then we will be able to go through difficult, even difficult moments and yet preserve the faith. We encounter the apostles in the first, in the first reading, Peter persecuted, arrested, and put in prison. But we see that without even escaping himself, he would have escaped, he would have done whatever he would, he would have wanted to escape. But he just kept the faith and prayed. And that's why we see that uh, the angel of the Lord leads him out of this prison and sets him free. Children of God are never bound by these worldly chains. They are free because the Lord is close to them. And so the apostles stood firm in the Lord and kept the faith. In the second reading we hear St. Paul say, I have run the, the race and I have kept the faith. We are invited, my brothers and sisters, to keep that faith. How many times have we been put in the chains of uh, family rankles, in the chains of anger, in the chains of, mis of uh, unforgiveness? These are the chains that can make us even lose our faith. But if we come back to the Lord, if we make our friendship stronger with the Lord, these chains will be loosed. And we hear in the Gospel, Jesus tells the disciples, and particularly Peter, after recognizing him, because if we build our friendship with Jesus, we will know him, we will be closer with him, and we learn from him and we will know how even to lead our brothers and sisters to the Lord. And Jesus tells Peter, because this has been revealed to you, you are now called to be the one who will lead others to heaven. You have the keys of heaven. We hold those keys, my brothers, if we learn, if we come closer to the Lord and learn from him each day. That's how we'll be able to lead our brothers and sisters. That's how we'll help our brothers and sisters to forgive. That's how we'll help our brothers and sisters to persevere in difficult moments and to stand with the Lord and to walk with him each day. To keep the faith through those moments and to help others also to, to walk this journey knowing that the Lord is close to us. 
And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this great main, Saints Peter and Paul, let us also learn to come closer to the Lord. Stand with the Lord, learn from him, and spread the love of God to our brothers and sisters wherever we are. This is what we are called to do. This is what we are called to learn from the apostles and to learn to be closer to the Lord all the moments of our life. Amen. Let us confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, cause substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us made and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May the prayers of the Apostle, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration. And may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord is with you. Lift up your hearts and us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by your providence, the blessed Apostle Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter was foremost in confessing the faith, Paul in it is outstanding preacher. Peter who established the early church from the remnant of Israel, Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each and in, in, every, in different way gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world, they share one mother's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Christ. Blessed is the Lord, O Son of the Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Saint Joseph, as spouse with your blessed apostles, San uh, and girls martyrs, St. Peter, St. Paul, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our failing end. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, the Bishop David Kamau, our Apostolic Administrator, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family 
whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamp of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. God bless you. Behold Jesus, the Lamp of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles Peter and Paul, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. And may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And happy feast day to all of you. Kapuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Kapuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Medical Appeal. The organizing committee and scholar Wanjiku's family wish to invite you to a fundraising towards settling the pending hospital bill and facilitation of the ongoing bone marrow transplant treatment of Mark Wamote, a 12-year-old, a pupil in Kalimoni Primary School, and an altar boy in St. Teresa Catholic Church, Juja. The total amount was 6 million shillings, and so far, 3.5 million shillings has been raised and paid. We need your help in raising the balance of 2.5 million shillings. The fundraising will be on 10th July 2021 at Maria Polis Center on Kenyatta Road from 1 p.m. You may channel your donation on M-Pesa pay bill number 8014. 779 account name Mark Wamote or Mpesa number 0724-919-212 or call us on 0715-877-632. Any donation will be appreciated. Mark Wamote, get well soon. Are you in need of a competitive, personal, business or institutional insurance cover? Look no further. Purchase Insurance has got you covered for both individual and group contingencies. I am a happy client of Purchase Insurance Company for over a period of seven years. Purchase Insurance offered us a lasting solution to our medical issues and medical problems. With Purchase Insurance, you do not need to search elsewhere. We have competitively comprehensive insurance products that meet every personal, business and institutional needs. We have plans that address the corporate organizations and groups 
targeting the religious groups and other registered groups. We also have plans for the retail market, which covers families or individuals. Uh, for general covers, we have classified them into two different lines. We have the personal lines and the corporate lines. We are uh, uh, owned by the Catholic Church, 100%. And uh, this brings the uniqueness in us in that any profits, any proceedings we make through the operations we run as a company are plowed back to the church to help with the different projects the church has. I would recommend purchase to any other person who is looking for these services. We have uh, direct lines we call, people who are available for us 24-7. And so it doesn't matter the time, the day, the hour we are, we are met, or rather our expectations are met. Visit our head office at Purchase Centre located along Wayakiway in Westlands for details about our products or contact us on 0730-677-000 or 0720-113-122. Send us an email on info at purchasekenya.com. Our health, our wealth and our reputation are protected and we have a lot of peace and comfort to know that we are covered wherever we are. Purchase is a Latin word that stands for peace. For comfort and peace in life. Choose Purchase Insurance Company. We protect your health, wealth and reputation for comfort and peace to society. Beatitude Girls High School located in Maragua, Muranga County, is a private secondary school that provides quality, holistic education to students. This institution of learning has gradually proved to be a hub of academic excellence for girls. The expectations are that uh, the girls who will go through the, uh, the formation here will come out here with the qualities of the Kingdom of God. The school is fully owned by the Catholic Diocese of Muranga, but run and managed by the Incarnate Word Sisters. To bring up these young girls, to educate them, to mentor them. The school has earned repute and recognition for outstanding performance in different academic fields. We are three kilometers from the main road. This creates a conducive environment for the girls and our vision also is to expand so that the, the, the school can grow and accommodate more of our girls. Students receive an all-round learning experience including co-curricular activities to develop their skills and talents. In a bid to accommodate girls from humble backgrounds, we offer favorable terms of payment that are affordable to all. For more information about intakes and entry requirements, contact us on 0706735006 or 0720724337. Send an email to cdmbeatitudesgirls2016 at gmail.com. Beatitude Girls High School! Yay! Welcome to Beatitude Girls High School Muranga. We learn to love as we love to learn. Diligence Rewards This is what we believe at Mount Lavena Girls Boarding School located along Kasarani Mweki Road. I'm Sister Rebecca Maina the principal of this school it was started in 205 it is run and managed by retro sisters of saint francis quality education and spiritual formation is at the center of the school's value which is aimed at producing holistic citizens the school is fully boarding uh, and accommodates girls our vision is to be a Christian school of academic excellence. It has been a center of excellence since the first day I met uh, this community. While our mission is to empower students with holistic education by nurturing Christian values that will enable them excel in the society. The school mean score for 2020 was 7.1. 
It has been doing well academically. Our core values include produce safe and conducive learning environments. Mount Lavena Girls is situated in a serene and conducive place where students learn without much distraction of noise. So we expect that the candidates who choose Mount Lavena as their school of choice will enjoy learning in our school. Provide quality education. We have sufficient classes. We have sufficient boarding facilities. We have a laboratory for science practicals. We have computer for students interested in computer uh, or IT. Nurture Christian values. Uh, we have mass twice a week, that is on Wednesday morning and Saturday afternoon. And uh, this is to support students uh, spiritually. Provide positive environmental and health practices. Promote international and cross-cultural consciousness. We also offer foreign language, that is French. Bienvenue à mon so all students who are interested in this are welcome to our school. For more information, visit Mount Lavena Girls Boarding School along Kasarani Mweki Road or contact us on 0722-544-951. Email us on mountlavenagirls at gmail.com or visit our website www.mountlavenaschool.ac.ke Mount Lavena Girls Boarding School Diligence Rewards life reserved for only the smarter, the fastest, and the fittest? Not really. At Mapson's Educational and Counseling Institute, everybody is a winner. All you need is your creative ability. Choose your skill set from our wide range of highly marketable courses, which include plumbing, welding, leatherwork, and detergent making. We also offer training in hospitality, dressmaking and catering. This is a Christian-based organization. I am a staunch Catholic. That is not to say that I will not accommodate people of other faiths. I welcome anybody who wants to learn as long as they respect my Christian faith. We have adult support groups which provide life skills training and counseling to the divorcees, widowed and single parents. Visit our offices located at Ruiru Town, next to Ruiru Nazareth Hospital, and secure admission in the ongoing intake. Whether you are poor or rich, the doors to Mapsons are welcome to anybody who cares to come in. For details, write to the director, Mapsons Educational and Counseling Institute, P.O. Box 3837, Code 00506. Nairobi or call us on 0722363868 or 0739892556. Security here is high class. Right behind here, there is a police post in the premises next door. They are only a call away. Then I have the CCTV and with the internet, I'm able to monitor what is going on in my compound 24 hours. Welcome to Mapsons Educational and Counseling Institute. Mapsons, we transform problems into great opportunities. <laughs> <laughs>